So the holiday weekend is here and no of you will be spending time outdoors and here to keep us from feeling the burn this summer is Dr. Melanie Palm. She's putting our sunscreen knowledge to the test and really good morning. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And sunny San Diego. Mm -hmm. That's basically summing it up right there. So much sun out there this weekend especially. What do we need to know? What is the difference? Because it's really important. Yeah, and I think it's hard. We've got like a whole aisle of sunscreen. How do you choose a good one? So we'll talk about some over-the-counter things and ingredients All to right, look for. All right, let's get started. So one of the questions we had over the break was sunscreen versus sunblock. Is there a difference? And there really isn't. You know, as dermatologists, and if you look at the FDA, we talk about sunscreen. Sunblock is really just a term we kind of use in the English language that means sort of the same thing. So there's okay. not real, really a difference. The big thing is looking at the ingredients on the back of any of your sunscreen agents. They're really good ingredients and they're not so amazing sort there of ingredients. There are some things to avoid. There are. So any of the ones that are like multiple syllables sound very chemically. Those are the ones that we as dermatologists tend to not like as much. So they're things like oxybenzone, homosalate. Um, there'll be, you know, multiple syllables, really sort of chemical sounding. And those change light into heat energy on the surface of the skin. Um, we really like physical based ones typically as dermatologists. So zinc and titanium, so the ones that you can actually that you pronounce, can actually pronounce. <laughs> they're mineral-based sunscreens, yeah. and they actually just physically reflect light back into the environment. We know from the sun, UV is really important to protect, but we also know visible light and infrared light actually play a significant role in inflammation and aging of the skin. And the physical sunblocking agents, and we've got a couple like this one over the counter actually has titanium in it. Look for those things. It's okay if there's a chemical sunscreen in it, but make sure that there's a good zinc or titanium component. Okay, that's too. a very easy rule to remember. Now here's the other thing, especially if you have little ones, I always think, okay, the more I put on her, the more she's going to be protected. Yeah. You have a little rule of thumb that you There used. is. So, you know, the, the Academy of Pediatrics, the American Academy of Dermatology, we recommend that younger than six months, you really shouldn't have your children out in the sun. You shouldn't use a sunscreen. It should be protective clothing. After six months for children, we recommend just those physical blocking sunscreens. So zinc, oxide and titanium dioxide. How much should you put on? So that's a good question. For a typical adult to do full body application, which you should reapply about every 60 to 90 minutes, it's a full ounce. And most of these are only about four ounces, like the typical container that you're mm -hmm. buying over the counter. So that's only four applications. So if you've got oh. a sunscreen bottle that's lasted you all summer, you really, really under And then how often? So that's a good question. If it's water resistant, it lasts about 90 minutes, 80 to 90 minutes. So if you're really active, I would say think about reapplying about every hour to 90 minutes. Okay, now here's the other thing. Say if you did forget to put on mm -hmm. your sunscreen and you get burned, no. there are things that you can do at home. We've got yeah. about 30 seconds. What can Absolutely. we do? Absolutely. Start with an Advil or ibuprofen. It's a strong anti-inflammatory. If you can't get in the habit of drinking green tea, we actually know that decreases Hot the chance tea, of you. doesn't matter? doesn't matter. Okay. And you can actually use compresses with it. But using cooled cucumbers soothes the skin. Oh. Oatmeal actually has polysaccharides, sugar that soothes the skin and helps it heal and then make sure you're staying dehydrated. So the oatmeal would you just dry? You put it into the bath water. So Aveeno actually has some if you want to use something that's just over the counter from the grocery store that's great too. And then we brought watermelon and water. Stay hydrated because if you get a burn it's a, it's taxing to the body. We want to make sure that you're healthy. Some perfect tips to keep us safe throughout the summer which we will be out in the Thank sun you. this weekend. Thank you so much Doctor. Oh, we gosh, appreciate your pleasure. time this morning. All right Heather we're ready for the